Hello there, you teens. I am so grateful to be back with you. Welcome to my channel. For all of you who may not know, I am Love of Fragrance. And on this particular channel, I conduct recommendations on fragrances. Yes, I recommend fragrances that I love and that I aspire to make you love also. <laughs> because I only bring fragrances to you, I recommend fragrances to you that I perceive that you are going to really, really, really develop a love for because I select the best ones. Trust me, I bring to you the best ones on the market. I might not have the most luxurious ones. I may not bring to you the most popular ones all the time. And I may not bring to you the most expensive ones all the time. But there are many lovely, beautiful, attractive, fragrant fragrances out there in the arena of marketing for fragrances to the point where, honey, 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 you have no clue of exactly which one you are going to desire because they are so distinctive in their own right. So you never know which one you're going to really, really, really miss, cannot live without. So I select a few here and there and I love them so much. I can't wear them all at one time. So I decided that I was going to just bring them to you. And that's what this video is about today. I have discovered another lovely fragrance that I really had never sampled, never tested. It wasn't exactly a blind, blah, blah, blind buy because I'm very much aware of this here individual. And she's pretty fairly popular. But anyways, it's a celebrity fragrance. And remember I told you I was going to bring you celebrity fragrance? I haven't done that in a while. Well, that's because of the fact that there's so many of them. <laughs> there are so many fragrances that you have to take into consideration that it's difficult to get around to all of them. And I will never even try attempt to try to do that. But this one today, I selected based on the fact that the scent. I tested it prior to purchasing it, but I had never tested it before. I smelled it before, but it was recommended to me before. But I selected it based on the fact that someone else had possession of it. And they provided me um, a body lotion. Yes, a body lotion of that fragrance. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And honey, I had to have it, but I'm disappointed because of the fact the one that they provided me the body lotion for, I couldn't find it. But I guess in a way, this was this one's nice also, but I still have that body lotion. And you know what? I can't get up and get it for you right now, but I want you to know that that body lotion, I put it on today and it has glitter on it. That's the only lotion or any type of glitter products that I possess. I went to put it on my arm and I'm like, what's the sparkly stuff on me? And the lotion has glitter in it. And we're going to see exactly what's transpiring with the one that I actually attained for myself is right here and guess who is by it's by miss sophie fagra yes it's hers and i can't move the camera right now because i'm afraid i won't be able to get it back correctly and this is what it looks like on the inside isn't that package just absolutely adorable we're going to take this out this here the fragrance look at that container it's like a black diamond yes Look at it, shaped just like a diamond. Cause diamonds are forever. <laughs> yes. And this right here happens to be a body lotion. We have a body lotion. We're gonna see some glitter in this baby. And we have, I perceive it's a roller ball. I don't know, it might be a spray ball. I haven't opened it, but let's check it out. I love my fragrances. I love my fragrances. I like to smell good. Do you like smelling lovely? Do you like smelling attractive? Do 
do you like smelling eloquently divine? Well, so does love and fragrance. Yes, I just love having all of my fragrances exuberate themselves and hug me so tight and kiss me good night. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, look at here. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I have taken a cap off of it before. I have to move this here box out the way. It's too much stuff in front of me. So let me see. Something inside of here. Get that out. Get that out. Uh, this here is a light purple. In case you can't see it, it may look like a pink to you, but it isn't pink. It's like a very, I don't know, it might be pink. It's like a light purple to me. Um or Marv or something like that. They're pretty much just all the same, but that little girl, we're going to set that over there so I can breathe again. Yes, let me just rec make you aware of the fact that this is so, oh God, this here is some heavy, heavy, heavy glass. Let me tell you something about Miss Self Environ. Okay, this is a celebrity fragrance. She's a celebrity. I don't know that much about her myself, but honey, She's has a nice design of fragrance right here. The girl is pleased. Mm, it's very pleasant. And you know when the girl is pleased, she can't shut up. I want you to know <laughs> right here that this here happens to be by Miss Sophie Viagra, as I stated before. But the reason why I aspire to have attain one of her fragrances because of the fact of this, what it symbolizes. It symbolizes woman. It doesn't just symbolize, but she had a specific uh, motivation for designing her fragrances, and she indicated that she wanted her fragrance to reflect a true woman, the total woman. And when she said the total woman, oh God, that started me to thinking. And I dug a little bit further, and the reason why she designed this particular fragrance for the total woman, because she want a woman who loves being a woman to represent the fact that she appreciates herself, and she knows herself, and she aspires to be the woman whom she was created. And I thought that was so deep. And I said to myself, a woman who loves being a woman and appreciate the woman whom she happens to be. That's deep. And I said to myself, that's so wonderfully it's, uh, uh, characterized. So therefore, I chose this particular fragrance from Mrs. Sophie Viagra because I think most women are that woman. And this particular fragrance happens to be dedicated from me today to you, the woman who appreciates herself and appreciates being the woman whom she happens to be. <laughs> That's deep. But anyways, listen, this here particular fragrance mm, comes to you with a warm, fruity, 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 fruity combination of mentorins and passion fruits and green apples. Yes. Orange blossoms. It has uh, also orange blossoms included in this particular fragrance, but I want you to know that I need to try this on. I know it smells lovely, 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 lovely. You see what I see? What I okay? This was a gift set, as you saw. But when I take a gift set, I I don't know if I'm the only person ever had this compl encountered this complication with my fragrances. When I receive a rollerball or a spray container, travel size, of course. And when I receive the regular, receive a regular fragrance, I test both of them. Because sometimes it appears to me that I have a very luxurious fragrance here, but then when I utilize the travel size fragrance, which is supposed to be the same product, it doesn't smell the same to me. I don't know if other people encounter that circumstance, but I do. So right now, I am going to test this fragrance. I've already explained to you some of the, um, the compartmentalized notes 
that design they have utilized to design this fragrance. So I'm going to just put a little bit right here on my wrist. Whoop, whoop. Two pumps. Honey, you know what I smell in this one? So prominent. Mm -mm -mm. It's so prominent. And they classify this. They, they classify this also as having, okay, the combination of notes in this particular fragrance that are much more detectable to me happens to be the Blossoms. I think she said, yes, Orange Blossoms. Orange blossoms, it's so lovely. It's so lovely. It's so pleasant. It is inspiring. It's, oh my God. It's one of those fragrances that give you the, 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 the perception that you are a bouquet of flowers. I'm telling you, it's so floral. Mm, my God. It, all of the fruits, the fruit is a sweetie fruit, but like, it's like suppressed with a type of uh, orange Mediterranean fragrance that makes it much less sweet, much less sweeter than what it pro it projects itself to be. It's sweet, but then it settles, and you can smell all of these other notes uh, originating themselves and exuding themselves from your skin. In other words, it's enticing. It's so Oh, it's very, very, very attractive. I like it. So, I want you to know that this one right here come with, uh, maybe that's a distinction in it, a combination of Colombian coffee beans, blossoms. Colombian coffee blossom, purple orchids, orange roots, and magnolias. And it also has some amber included in it. So, the notes, the way they are aligned in this particular fragrance I think makes it much more uh, characterized. In other words, it gives it its own uh, character characterization to where it isn't associated with any of the other fragrances. I mean, this is so unique and so indifferent from anything else I have ever smelled and I very, 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 very rarely, I rarely say that. It's very rare that I would say something like that. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, when I utilize the travel ball, it appears that the fragrance that I attain from the travel ball doesn't be consistent with the fragrance that I obtain from the con container. This is a three ounce, a three ounce container. I don't know, it might be similar, but I don't know. Every time I do that, every time I use the one of the other ones, They never smell the same. Oh, they never smell the same to me. They never smell the same. I don't understand that. So I'm going to go and close up this travel ball. You know what I think? I think that the composition in the travel ball can't fully exuberate itself as it does when you spray it. Because when you spray it, you get the maximum capacity of the fragrance and you also attain a larger amount of fragrance because it's coming out of a sprout. But when you use the travel ball, I think you're receiving less content of the fragrance so you don't get the full capacity of the fragrance. And maybe that's why there's always a distinction. And anyway, I don't, I don't know. It just never smelled the same to me. I love travel balls, but I've never, you know, like sometimes I encounter that. I'm not saying I encounter that with every fragrance that I utilize, but I have noticed previously that I had encountered that. The distinction, there was a distinction uh, a very, very, very um, detectable distinction in the travel ball fragrance when it's applied to my body and then when I utilize the full container fragrance and apply to my body. It doesn't smell identical, I guess because there's more 
coming out of the pump because it's more con con content in this particular bottle and it's coming out more fluent. In other words, the, you're spraying more on your body so it's more fluent. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe that's it because I'm going to have to put this aside for right now. This is going to be like my emergency fragrance because I know that I'm going to have to roll myself over and over and over and over again when I utilize that and that's why it's good to experiment with these and recognize that early on before you get out in the public and you put your fragrance on and you wonder, hmm, what's wrong with my fragrance? I don't smell anything. Well, that's why. That's because you receive a lot more content from your fragrance when you spray it with a bottle itself. So, now I didn't shake it up. This hair has to dry down. It has a dry down, and that dry down takes a little bit of while longer than I aspire for it to take. But after it dries on your skin, you receive the true aroma. And also, in this hair um, compartment of notes that we have here, you will discover that there are, like I said, some Colombian coffee beans. You will also discover that there are purple orchids. And here as happens to be the twist to me. I also would not perceive that there would be some wood in this particular fragrance, but there are. And I am not familiar with the perylene at all. But it also has some perylene in it, and it has vanilla. You know what? I can detect the vanilla in this fragrance. I, I have a nose for the vanilla um, scents. For some reason, I can always detect the vanilla in every fragrance. But it's very, very, very light in this particular fragrance. Extremely light, but it's very, it, but it's obvious. But it, it's suppressed. It's suppressed extensively in this particular fragrance because with, with the black orchid and the wood and the Mediterranean orange and also, what's the other one? It has like the purple orchids and it has the... Um, the perylene, which I am not familiar with, that particular those particular notes come together and originate such an eloquent, luxurious, exquisitely designed, pleasurable fragrance. You will find this very, very pleasurable. I find it very passionate. In other words, I appreciate it because it has some sensitivity to me and a great deal. You know, Sophia Viagra. She's a very, very, very affluent woman. In other words, she has all of these curves and everything. In other words, she's a very attractive lady, wholeheartedly. Just attractive. Everything about her is attractive. And I want you to know that this here fragrance definitely gives you the perception of an attractive, lovely, a beautiful, elegant woman. It fits her characterization all the way around. And I think any woman that would invest in this particular fragrance, this particular fragrance, will find it very, very um, luxurious for themselves as well. I want you to know that here's the lotion. Here's the lotion. And it says, nothing but body lotion. What else? But I'm opening this right now just to see if I can detect if the, whether or not there are some glitter in a lotion. I don't know if it was just in the ones that was given to me or possibly she applies it to all of her lotions. Let's see. Oh. Ah. Ah. I was getting ready to say I'm not so lucky, but let me put a little more on because I think I am. My hands need it anyway. They really do. They need to be lotion. Honey, so what? Let me see if the light. It's there. <laughs> it's there. It's in this one also. A little spark of glitter. Can you see it? Can you see the glitter on my hands? Oh, my hands really need it to be lotion. I'm in busy today. Can you see the little sparks of glitter? 
I love the fact that they're very tiny because when I was younger, I used to wear glitter products all the time. Um, well, I used to put it on certain areas of my body, probably up here, but I was always concerned about it traveling somewhere it wasn't supposed to be. And that's, but the glitter was a little larger, but the sparkles in here are so tiny. You cannot even really see them. I'm sure you can't see them, but I can see them. A little reflection of glitter sparkling all over my body. That is so beautiful. You know what? That makes you want to lotion yourself all the time because I'm telling you, I don't have anything. I didn't, I didn't have anything with glitter in it prior to me being given the lotion designed by Sophie Viagra. But honey, I want you to know this is a a very lovely product. Can you see it now? Can you? Can you see the glitter? Well, sorry if you can't. I can. But it's so minor. I think it's like more a to detect it's more uh, I guess revealing. It's like you're like out at the club and it's really, really dark, which is something I haven't done in a long time. And it's really, really dark and you know, and you know, like how they have those their fluorescent lights in the club, and I think that's when it's the only time it'll probably be showing on your body. You'll be just sparkling and looking all shiny and glittery and everything, and and the guys will be like, "Woo, woo, man, look at that diamonds! That chick got diamonds engraved in her skin." <laughs> Because it'll be so tiny, honey, wouldn't it be worth looking at? But you, that's what I like about it. It's the glitter in here is so tiny, but it's like a little reflection of glitter on your skin that is almost like you have to hunt for it. But it's there. You can't see it, but I can see it. I just want you to know I love that. I love the way she incorporates the glitter in her lotions. So that's why I'm choosing this Sophie Viagra for you today as a um, recommendation because of the fact that it's a very, very lovely product. Um, oh yes, by the way, in case you're wondering if you have any familiarity with YSL Opium and Tresor uh, Lanat, and if you have any familiar with uh, Zara Red Vanilla Fragrance, I want you to understand that's I would say be would be the closest fragrances scent that you can compare with these two. So these are pretty comparable with those fragrances that I just quoted to you as far as like just trying to identify a fragrance that relates to this one. It would probably be more associated with those fragrances just to give you a clear distinction of exactly possibly what it might uh, smell like. If you aren't familiar with either of those, I suggest you just go and obtain yourself a tester before you invest in it because myself, love of fragrance, I was granted um, the incident and advantage, literally, of attaining this protection fragrance based on the fact of the scent test of the lotion that which was given to me. And I fell in love with it. And I wasn't planning to purchase it, but I happened to have um, attained it anyways, even though I wasn't planning on it, because I was completely satisfied with just utilizing the lotion, because it was that potent in an aroma in just the lotion, and the scent itself is even more potent. It's one of those very aspirational fragrances that are very please, pleasing, and I would say you will attain exceptional compliments with this one as well. So please do yourself a favor and invest in this here fragrance because it's extremely appealing, it's extremely alluring, and it's just like Miss Sophie Guerrero herself. An elegant designer fragrances that you are just going to fall in love with. And I thank you so much for tuning into my channel, channel. And please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Bye.